Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Motion and Time. Question number 1. A pendulum takes 0.5 s to make one oscillation about its mean position. How long will it take to make 5 oscillations? Option A. 5 seconds. Option B. 7.5 seconds. Option C. 2.5 seconds. Option D. 10 seconds. The correct answer is Option C. 2.5 seconds. Given time period for one oscillation equals 0.5 s time period for 5 oscillations equals 5 times 0.5 equals 2.5 seconds. Question number 2. Which of the following does not show oscillatory motion? Option A. Swing. Option B. Fan. Option C. Seesaw. Option D. Pendulum. The correct answer is Option B. Fan. A fan shows circular motion. Question number 3. Which of the following shows motion in a straight line? Option A. A bullet shot from a gun. Option B. A tree swing. Option C. Child on a merry-go-round. Option D. The motion of strings in a guitar. The correct answer is Option A. A bullet shot from a gun. A bullet shot from a gun represents motion in a straight line. A tree swing. The motion of strings on ITAR are examples of oscillatory motion. Child on a merry-go-round represents circular motion. Question number 4. Which of the following is given incorrectly? Option A. Speedometer. Speed. Option B. Odometer. Odor. Option C. Anemometer. Wind speed. Option D. Stopwatch. Time. The correct answer is Option B. Odometer. Odor. An odometer measures distances. Question number 5. Which of the following is the most suitable device for measuring the time the runners take in a 100 meters marathon? Option A. Hourglass. Option B. Stopwatch. Option C. Pendulum. Option D. Sundial. The correct answer is Option B. Stopwatch. Stopwatch is the most suitable device for measuring the time of runners in a 100 meters marathon. Question number 6. Which of the following travels the fastest? Option A. Cheetah. Option B. Wind. Option C. Sound. Option D. Light. The correct answer is Option D. Light. Light is the fastest among all and according to scientists nothing can travel faster than light. The speed of light is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Question number 7. A graph is shown below. What does the area of the shaded portion in the graph represent? Option A. Distance. Option B. Speed. Option C. Time. Option D. Uniform motion. The correct answer is Option A. Distance. The shaded portion denotes a rectangle, the area of which is length breadth. Therefore, the area of the shaded portion will be speed time. Since speed time equals distance, the shaded portion represents the distance covered by the body. Question number 8. Study the graph given below. What can be concluded about the speed in the above graph? Option A. It goes on increasing. Option B. It decreases first and then becomes zero. Option C. It increases first and then becomes constant but not zero. Option D. It decreases first and then becomes constant but not zero.
The correct answer is Option B. It decreases first and then becomes zero. Speed is the change of position of a body with respect to time. From the graph, it can be concluded that the change becomes less with time till there is no change at all that is till the speed becomes a zero. Question number 9. A person is seated in a train under motion. With reference to which of the following surroundings is he at rest? Option A. Person watching him from the front seat. Option B. Person watching him from the ground. Option C. Trees on the ground. Option D. A car moving in the opposite direction to the train. The correct answer is Option A. Person watching him from the front seat. A person seated in a train under motion is at rest with reference to a person watching him from the front seat. Question number 10. Study the given distance time graph for three cars P, Q and R in a race. Which of the three cars win the race? Option A. Car P. Option B. Car Q. Option C. Car R. Option D. Both Q and R. The correct answer is Option A. Car P. If a line is drawn parallel to the time axis and corresponding distance axis as given in the graph, the points X, Y, Z, represent some distance traveled by three cars. Car P travels this distance in less time than R and Q hence, Car P has the greatest speed and the winner in the race. Question number 11. According to the following graph, what happens to the distance covered by a car moving on a straight road from 0 to 10 minutes? Option A. It goes on increasing. Option B. It goes on decreasing. Option C. It first increases and then decreases. Option D. It first decreases and then increases. The correct answer is. Option A. It goes on increasing. Even though the speed of the body first increases then decreases. The distance keeps on increasing till the car stops. Question number 12. Which of the following events is used for the measurement of time? Option A. Occurrence of an earthquake. Option B. Speedometer in a vehicle. Option C. Motion of a pendulum. Option D. Collision of a meteorite with a planet. The correct answer is. Option C. Motion of a pendulum. The motion of a pendulum is a periodic event which can be used to measure time or the duration between two events. Question number 13. A water pipe has water flowing through it. Which of the following changes would increase the speed of water flow through the pipe? Option A. Increase the water pressure. Option B. Increase the length of pipe. Option C. Make the pipe coiled. Option D. Make the pipe narrower. The correct answer is. Option A. Increase the water pressure. The speed of water flow through the pipe can be increased by increasing the water pressure. All other mentioned changes would have no effect on the speed of water flow. Question number 14. The rate of change of displacement with time is called. Option A. Speed. Option B. Velocity. Option C. Both of these. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Velocity. Question number 15. Physical quantity which we can't obtain from a distance time graph is. Option A. Speed. Option B. Time taken. Option C. Change in position. Option D. Change in weight. The correct answer is. Option D. Change in weight. Question number 16. If the velocity of a body does not change with time, its acceleration is. Option A. Zero. Option B. Infinite. Option C. 
unity option d none of these the correct answer is option a zero question number 17 a body moving in a straight line is said to be in uniform motion if option a it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time howsoever small the interval may be option b it covers equal distance in equal intervals of time when intervals are of one hour option c it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time when intervals are of one minute option d none of the above is correct the correct answer is option a it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time howsoever small the interval may be question number 18 displacement is the option a shortest distance between initial and final positions option b actual distance between initial and final positions option c distance traveled by the object option d distance traveled by the object in a unit time the correct answer is option a shortest distance between initial and final positions question number 19 if an object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time it is said to be in option a circular motion option b uniform motion option c oscillatory motion option d non-uniform motion the correct answer is option b uniform motion if an object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time it is said to be in uniform motion question number 20 magnitude of average speed of an object is equal to its average velocity if option a it is moving in a definite direction option b its initial and final positions are same option c it is a uniform motion option d none of these the correct answer is option a it is moving in a definite direction magnitude of average speed of an object is equal to its average velocity if it is moving in a definite direction question number 21 negative value of acceleration signifies option a the velocity is increasing option b the velocity is decreasing option c the velocity remains the same option d the object comes to rest the correct answer is option b the velocity is decreasing negative value of acceleration signifies deceleration or in other words the velocity is decreasing thank you for watching the video if you'd like practice this quiz then download the wonder slate app now link in the description below if you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments if you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.